Hey guys, Matthew here from the MMAT YouTube channel doing a quick review on the Mantis X. The Mantis X is a training device that you attach directly to your firearm and it gives you feedback instantly via some accelerometers and some gyroscopes inside of the device that feeds directly to your smartphone and lets you know what's going on when you press the trigger. So it comes with an app that's available free online for both Apple and Android and the way it works is you simply attach the device to your gun, put your gun somewhere still and then hit connect. It connects via Bluetooth and once it's connected it calibrates the firearm as you can see here and then now it's ready to go. We simply hit start and we're ready to start uh, seeing what happens whenever we press the trigger. I've got it set up currently in dry fire mode so I'm going to dry fire the gun and we'll see what the gun says I'm doing. So there you can see some of my scores, I'm not trying terribly hard, although on that last one I certainly did, and you can see I was rewarded with almost 95. A perfect shot is 100, and they say it's impossible without a rest. So the app has several settings, allowing you to choose the firearm that you're using the device on, whether it's a pistol or a rifle, and if it's a pistol or a rifle, what kind, if it's an AR, if it's a Glock, if it's uh, you know an MP9, whatever. It'll basically work on any gun with a rail, but if the firearm that you have isn't in the list, uh, you can just simply pick the one that's the closest and it will probably work just fine. You pick right-handed or left-handed shooter, and then you can pick if you're using live fire, dry fire, or CO2. And that's good for people who have those CO2 simulators, also for airsoft, it works with that as well. And then you can uh, calibrate whether the device is forward, backwards, on the bottom of your gun, the top of your gun, the left of your gun, the right of your gun. And then there's a bullseye mode, which is on or off as well, which is for people who shoot bullseye. I don't shoot bullseye, so that's turned off. So the device gives you a graph that you can track what's going on. The green is right before you press the trigger, the yellow is right as you're pressing the trigger, and the red is what happened after you press the trigger. So as you can see, some of my shots are better than others. The tighter that that cluster of dots is, typically the better your shot. So there I got a 91 on that one. There's one with an 89, you can see it's a little bit bigger. There's a 93, a little bit tighter still. So let's set this up for some live fire training and see how I do. So I got an average of no, almost 93 on that, and let's look at my graphs here, how I did. So, the last shot, there's a second to last shot, a 95.9, that's pretty good, a 96. And you can see the red line shooting off to the up and left, that's the direction of the recoil. So, if I'm able to grip the gun a little tighter, perhaps I can keep that line from shooting off the graph so far. Let's see how far it goes. Oh wow, way up. So that's the muzzle of the gun flipping up under recoil. So you can see that I'm sort of, it, it wants to go up to the left and I'm correcting it back to the right. So I need to kind of keep that line a little straighter. So I'll work on that and see if I can get that to, uh, to come down a little bit. So on this string I got a 91, a 90, a 95, an 88, and a 69. So I kind of dropped the ball on that last one and it's saying that I hit high. So let's go down to the target and let's see where the bullets actually impacted. So we should have several sort of centered and then one sort of high and right all by itself. So let's go see if that's the case. And remember, I'm shooting at uh, 20 yards. So the group is going to be a little bigger than it looks on the phone. But uh, that's just to exaggerate 
the issue because I really want to see if this thing can predict what uh, the target's going to look like. And if we look at the overall score, we can see that it's also indicating that one of my shots was high. So it's not exactly perfect. We've got one low right, and then we have one sort of high left, and then we have three sort of in the bull. So I'm going to go back through and see if it can tell me what happened with this one, but it definitely does show one high. It's not exactly straight up, it's high left, but I mean the device can only be so accurate, right? Otherwise though, that looks like a, you know, a fairly good representation of what I was doing. So I actually have turned off the device since that last string and I want to see if I can go through my history and find those shots again without actually connecting. So let's go up into the settings and go to history and let's look at the last 10. So there we go. There's the last five shots that I did. So you can actually go back through and look at your history. So that last shot was that one that we probably saw high. That's the one that I definitely know that I threw. This one's a little bit low. That one's dead on the middle, that one's pretty much in the middle, and so is that one. So it looks like maybe this is the one here that's a little bit low. That might have been the one that was low, right? And the, the, the device just simply didn't call that the gun moved a little bit to the right when I pressed the trigger. But I mean, it, this isn't perfect, right? This is just going to give you a good idea as to what you're doing wrong. Ah, it looks like I didn't pick one of them up. I want an average out of five, so I'll try one more. Not bad for one hand. So just for fun, even though the Manus X requires about a half a second between shots, I did some sort of semi-rapid fire. I would, I would fire a shot and then fire a second one, not as fast as I could because I knew it had to be at least a half a second later, but I definitely didn't take the time to uh, get a proper and perfect sight picture. I just wanted to squeeze off around as quick as I could just to kind of see how I was doing. So first shot 87, second shot 63. First shot 74, second shot 60. First shot 85, second shot 60. So this, even though I can't go at full speed, it's still going to be able to help me get more accurate hits on my second shots whenever I'm out uh, shooting Ipsic. So overall I'm quite pleased with this. It works really well. It sort of helps diagnose what you're doing wrong. I'm a bit of an advanced shooter. I didn't really need it to tell me what I was doing wrong because I know what I'm doing wrong when I'm doing it wrong. But this would really help somebody who's new into shooting to help them improve a little bit more quickly than they would if they were just shooting on their own because the device does sort of give you your instant feedback and as an experienced shooter I really like the device because it encourages me to dry fire more at home because it's, it's like a game how high can I get my score on top of that when I'm out here at the range again I I want to get a good score whenever I'm shooting with it this might also be a good device for a firearms instructor because you can stick this in your pocket. It's not very big. And then if you have a shooter who's experiencing some problems, you can just stick it on their gun and sync it up with your phone and you can give that student some instant feedback that's sort of empirical. So the device goes for about $150 US and it's available online now. If you're interested in improving your shooting skills a little bit more quickly than you might if you were just going out to the range and making noise and not really knowing what you're doing, I'd highly suggest this. A huge shout out to Casey who sent this to me to review. I appreciate it. I really like the device and I will definitely be using it quite a bit. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.